the brotherhood of Satan. So I say this to you. Choose you this day who you will serve. The culture of life that is found in Jesus Christ or the culture of death that is found in the wickedness of humanism, evolution, eugenesis, fascist, communist, socialist. These are all cultures of death and destruction, selfishness, theft. That's why our country is in the state that it is today. Hear the word of the Lord. Romans chapter 6 verse 23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of life is found in Jesus Christ. The wages of a culture of death is more debt. It gives dividends. It's like investing in the stock market. Well, investing in the stock market before the crash. It gives dividends. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Death upon death. Murder upon murder. Destruction upon destruction. Lies upon lies. Heap upon heap. Heap upon heap. Death upon death. But the gift of life is found in Jesus the Christ. Hear the word of the Lord. Proverbs chapter 6, chapter six verses 16 through 19 says, Six things the Lord hates. Yea, seven are an abomination to him. A proud look, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood. Hands that shed innocent blood. Six things the Lord hates. Oh, you say my God doesn't hate. My God doesn't hate anybody. My God is a God of love. Your God is not the God of the Bible. Hear the word of the Lord again. Hey, go back to the part where you're crapping on gay people. Proverbs, chapter 6, verse 16 through 19. These six things the Lord hates. Seven, yea, are an abomination to him. A proud look, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that desires des des wicked plans. Oh, what a wicked plan abortion is. Those are only four. Feet that are shit, swift to shed blood. Feet that are swift to shed, to run to evil. A false witness who speaks lies. And one who sows discourse among brethren. There are many sins that are apparent in this place. I see a proud look in the Green Vest Brigade. God hates that proud look. Proverbs, look it up. Proverbs a, chapter 6, verse 16. God hates a proud look. The Green Vest Brigade. God hates those who Aren't shed innocent blood. Question. Question. Is a baby in the womb innocent Well, to be helpless? innocent, you have to be possible of being corrupt. Question. Is life worthy of being protected? A six-week-old Why are you guys coming can here? be corrupt. Why not? The Bible teaches that we're all dead in our trespasses and sin. From the, from the birth, from the sin of Adam and Eve, so we six, are all corrupted. The six-week-old fetus is a sinner? Yes. A six-week-old child is born with the taint of sin, just like all human beings. That's why a child does not need to know about sin, not, does not need to be taught to do wickedness. It is from the birth. But you know what? In the human sense, God says to us that we should protect the life of the helpless. Yes, the child is a sinner. As the Bible says, we're all dead in our trespasses and sin. From the womb, says the scripture. But yet, that does not justify the murder of a baby. Not just the murder. Do you guys know they tear the baby apart in the womb? That they burn the baby for hour on end with saline? The baby suffers. That they tear the organs out of the baby with no sedative. Those are late term profit. abortions. Those are late term abortions. They don't do late term abortions in there. Hear the word of the Lord. If you're going to tell it, tell it correctly. Proverbs chapter 12 verse 6 says, The word of the wicked are lie and wait for blood. But the mouth of the upright will deliver them. 
Why is the prevalence of homosexuality so clear in our culture? Because Romans says that they are under the judgment of God. They're not going to be judged because they're homosexuals. They're already judged. The very vile deed is the judgment of God. Look at the, nu the numbers, the suicide, the disease, the pestilence that is found in the homosexual community. It is the judgment of God. It is not going to bring the judgment of God. It is the judgment of God. The wicked deeds of the flesh. Yet even God can forgive that. The wicked, wicked, filthy deeds of the flesh. Yet even God can forgive that. If God can forgive a person who would murder their own child, torture their child to death, tear the little baby apart, its little hands, its little feet, crush its little head, God can forgive the abomination of homosexuality. What do gay people have to do with abortion? Nothing at all. It has to do with man deciding, my will be done. That God created us, man and woman. God created the lock and the key. But I decide, I don't want it that way. I will be God. My will be done. I will decide. My will be done. Same as the feminist. My will be done. I don't care what God has said. I don't care what nature shows biologically. My will be done. Actually, if I want to many stick animals my head, in nature are If gay. I want to stick my head in a wood chipper, my will be done. Many animals in nature are gay. Many animals are omnisexual. Oh Lord, the foolishness of the words of those who are blinded and by the sin. Actually, thing. you might think people showing up gay might be due to overpopulation. Hear the word of God. Deuteronomy chapter 27 nature fixing and verse 25 says, Cursed be he who takes reward to slay an innocent person. And all the people shall say, Amen. Hear the word of the Lord. Deuteronomy chapter 27 verse 25 says, Cursed be he that takes reward to slay an innocent 